Welcome to the very first episode of Small Girl Big Talk, where we talk about the big stuff in life like our self-identity, our relationship with our loved ones or with ourselves, money, health, and all the important things that we care about. My wish for this podcast is to really bring you comfort and help you feel a little bit less alone in your adulthood journey. I'm your host, Wendy, and since this is the very first episode on this podcast, I would like to share with you about the reasons why I am starting this podcast, specifically about my journey when it comes to content creation or putting my thoughts out on social media to the world. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, you should get an idea about my background and who I am as well. Now, first of all, I do want to mention that this podcast is designed to be something that is very casual and chill, and you can approach it as if you're listening to a friend or a sister talking to you as you are driving to work or you are taking a walk in a park. My plan is to keep things as honest, as transparent as possible. That means that I might be vulnerable and some contents might just be rambling because life is not a straight road where sometimes we all face a roadblock and we all struggle in our own way. And I plan to share about those as well because I really wanted to make this space as real as possible. So that said, um, it is my first time recording a podcast and I am kind of nervous about it. But I hope that the more I share online, I'm going to get comfortable and used to it. Um, But it is not my first time sharing online. Growing up, in fact, content creation has always been a very essential part of my life. I started blogging since I was like 14 years old. And I don't even know if you guys know this platform, but I started off on Windows Live Space. So if you've used MSN Messenger before, you might know that. So I started off there and then I moved on to Blogger and WordPress for the next 10 years. At that time, I shared a lot about my personal life. It kind of is like a public journal where I talk about my life and the things that I've learned along the journey. And eventually, when people stopped reading blogs, I moved on to YouTube. And even so, I kind of struggled a little bit to get on there because I was really insecure about my accent or how I speak in front of the camera as well. Because I grew up speaking Malaysian English with my family all along. But I also went to Canada to further my studies when I was in university. And I had a lot of friends who spoke to me in the North American accent. And I just didn't know how to show up online in front of the camera at first. But after three years of doing YouTube, I got comfortable and this is how I speak right now. Um, But, you know, that aside, right, back to my journey. When I got laid off in 2019 from my content marketing job, I decided then that since I am so passionate about content creation, I really want to make this my career. And at that point, after doing some research, I settled to get into the coaching industry because I figured that it's the easiest way to monetize myself um, rather than trying to rely on getting a sponsor or relying on ads performance on YouTube. And so... The last three years, I have positioned myself as a social media slash content creation coach where I help entrepreneurs to brand themselves online and to build visibility on social media. And I have to say, in the last three years, I have learned so many things about business, but in the process of building an ideal personal brand for my business, I felt like I lost my true voice when it comes to creating content. Because there was just so much at stake, I felt like I couldn't say what I really thought in the fear that whatever I say would affect my brand as an entrepreneur and my business and my income. So it took me a while to come to realization that I really didn't enjoy the content that I was putting out there in the last three years. And I had to accept that after three years of trying something, that I was going to quit and give up on being a coach and really get back to why I got into this in the first place is because I want to be a full-time content creator. And then I had to ask myself a lot of big questions like why did I enjoy content creation in the first place? Like what was it that I looked forward to when I was writing till late night when I was in high school and you know back in university I would also block off the entire weekend to just write in the coffee shop 
And then when I was doing YouTube, I would block off my calendar, I would film and I really enjoyed editing as well. I asked myself a lot of questions and I come to realize what I really enjoyed. It's the fact that I love sharing about my personal experiences and when that gets online and someone responds, I realize that I'm not alone in my journey at all. You know, whether it's about my mental health journey or my experiences of trying to be more productive, to grow, whether it's in my career or studies. And when I share about my insecurities when it comes to how I look. And when someone leaves a comment and engage in that conversation with me, in that moment, it makes me realize that we are all just equal beings who are trying to figure life out. And I love that feeling. And that's what I want this podcast to be about as well. So on the outside, I seem to have my shit together. I have a fulfilling career. I have a healthy lifestyle where I work out and meditate regularly. I have a beautiful space that I decorated and call home. I have friends who I spend time with and who care for me. And I recently even got engaged with my partner. Like if you were to glance through my social media, you'd think that I'm living a pretty good life. And honestly, I would like to think so too. But the truth is, half of the time, I'm also really overwhelmed by all these things that I need to do as an adult. Like I have to manage my finances. I have to make sure to take care of my parents. I have to make it in time to work, but I also have time to clean the house and to eat healthy and to sleep seven hours a day and to go to gym. Like, bro, that's not easy, okay? <laughs> And I really just wanted to create a space for conversations about these experiences and struggles that we have. And let's be real, as much as we all have our friends who might share a similar journey, it's not easy to open up about all these things as well because we all know that our friends might be struggling with similar things and maybe we just didn't want to burden them by talking about it. So I want to be that person who talks about all these things to make you feel a little bit less alone in your journey. But anyways, for those of you who are here for the first time, let me just give you an idea about who I am. I am an aspiring content creator with a pretty decent career path right now. I am also a fiancé who is stressing out about saving up for a wedding. And if we even want to have kids, I'm still a daughter who aspires to retire her parents and pay off their debt. But half of the time, I'm also feeling guilty that I'm not there yet to be doing all these things. I am also a recovering depression patient who has been through it all. I've been through therapies. I've been through antidepressants. I seek spiritual help. I read a lot of self-help books and I got out of depression. And that is also something that I really care about and would talk a lot about on my podcast as well. So like I said at the start of this podcast, my wish is for this podcast to bring comfort and to help you feel less alone in your adulthood journey. And that's exactly what I'm hoping that you get out of this. So if this is something that you are looking for, do give me a follow and I hope that you'll look forward to my upcoming episodes. I hope to see you in my next one then. Bye!